Elkton. Police have now charged a man with the murders of two teenagers who disappeared over the summer. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer has been following this story. He joins us live from the Elkton Police Department with the very latest. Lowell. Yes, Dan. Elkton police tell us that 30 year old Ray, Donald Ray Bennett, was indicted last week in this case and is currently charged with first and second degree murder, two charges each in this case. What's interesting, though, is that police tell us they have enough evidence not only to link him to the disappearance of the two boys, but their murders as well, even though their bodies were never found. They've still not found their bodies. So that's the hardest. For Teresa Dill, guardian of 16 year old Jesse Vesey Jr., who went missing along with his friend, 19 year old Ricardo Levenberry, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. We just, um, we just don't know. They're not knowing. They're not knowing where they are, and we just don't know. We don't know where they're at. Elkton police say it was back on August 19th when VZ was last seen at around 4.30 in the afternoon in the Hollingsworth Manor neighborhood. Witnesses say they saw him getting into a blue colored Chevy occupied by a heavy set man. 18 hours later, Levenberry was seen riding his bike near this park in the same neighborhood and was also seen getting into a similar vehicle. Now, police have identified that heavy set man as 30 year old Donald Ray Bennett, who they say lived in the neighborhood. I hope he's ready for the heat of hell because God doesn't forgive for hurting his children, and that's what he did. Police say a continuing investigation led to evidence that indicates Bennett was involved in the disappearances and deaths of Levenberry and Vesey, even though their bodies have never been found. As far as who Bennett is, many neighbors say they had seen him around the neighborhood. He's from this development. You know, I've seen him enough to see him to say hi, but it's a shock. I would have never thought he'd do something like that. Still, for loved ones of the victims, this story is far from over. A little piece of me is relieved, but a big piece of me is still missing because I don't know where they're at. According to court records, Bennett has a long criminal past, including charges of reckless endangerment and weapons charges, as well as burglary. He's currently being held without bond. Police are still looking for information in this case. Anyone who thinks they can help should call the Elkton Police Department. We're live in Elkton tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News. Lowell, thank you.